Hello, in this snip, we are going to talk about how you can install and configure the AWS CloudWatch agent on Windows Server. So before we get too far, let's talk about some prereqs. So the prereqs aren't very complicated here. As you can see, you just need an AWS account and a running EC2 instance. And if you happen to be running this on an old EC2 instance, you have to make sure that the SSM agent is 2.2.93.0 or later. But if you have any newer EC2 instances, that all comes installed by default. So the scenario is we are going to go through all the steps that are required to do this. So the first step is we have to create and configure the IAM role. Second, we'll download and install the agent. We'll create the agent configuration file, start the agent, and then verify that it is finally sending information to CloudWatch. So the first thing we have to do is we are going to create and attach the IAM role to the EC2 instance so that the CloudWatch agent has the ability to read the logs and send them to CloudWatch. Okay, so I have already navigated to my IAM service here and I've went down to roles here. And you can see I've got a few roles, but nothing um, around CloudWatch. So to create one, I go over here to create role and then I go to EC2 because this role will be using EC2. Click that, permissions. And then now I need to set the policy we can set all kinds of different policies here, but uh, if you just want to get started um, just doing a basic policy, AWS recommends you choose the CloudWatch agent server policy. So I will go ahead and check that. Hit review and call the name, oh, I don't know, CloudWatch, because I'm not very creative. All right, so next part is create role. And then now you can see that the CloudWatch role has been created, great. All right, next up, now we have to attach this role to the EC2 instance that we will be installing it on. All right, so to do that, I go up here to services and go to my EC2 dashboard, and I will go to my instances, and then I have one here. This is the one that I'll be working with. I will go up to actions, then instance settings, and then I will go to attach replace IAM role. Okay, once I do that, the IAM role should show up here. So I have CloudWatch, I will click that and apply. Close, and we're all done with that step. So it's pretty easy. All right, next up, we need to RDP to the EC2 instance and we will be downloading and installing the agent on that instance. All right, I have RDP'd into my instance here and I will go ahead and get some code here. So I'm doing this all in PowerShell. I have my PowerShell um, console brought up and you can, you'll see here in a second that uh, the CloudWatch agent package also includes some PowerShell scripts in it. So it's a good idea just to go into your PowerShell console. So here I'm using invoke web request and I will just copy and paste this code in here and it will download it from the AWS server here and we can get the CloudWatch agent zip file locally on my EC2 instance. All right, it's done. What else do we have to do here? Next up, since it's a zip file, we need to expand this zip file, and I would do that with expand archive. You can do that any number of ways, but I will just use it all in PowerShell here. All right, now that we've expanded the archive, now we will just go ahead and set the working directory here in PowerShell to the Amazon CloudWatch agent, the folder where I expanded everything to. All right, next up, I will run the install script, and it's pretty quick, as you can see, no problem at all there. So now the CloudWatch agent is technically installed, but it's not going to do anything. We have to now create a configuration file to do that. All right, going back over here to my code, the install script creates an Amazon, Amazon CloudWatch agent folder, and that's the folder that the CloudWatch agent lives in. And then inside of that folder, there is a configuration wizard executable that you need to execute, which I will go ahead and do that now. All right, it's going to walk me through um, a lot of the common questions that need to be answered to create this configuration file. You can create a configuration file manually. It's a JSON file. But if you're just getting started, it's a lot uh, easier just to go th down through here and create one from scratch. So which OS are you planning to use the agent? 
two, all right, are using EC2 or on-premises, you can use uh, CloudWatch Agent on-premises, which is pretty nice, but we're just going to be using EC2 in this instance. Do you have an existing CloudWatch Agent? Nope. Do you have any to import for the migration? Oh, looks like I pushed in instead of, instead of two. All right, no. Do you want to monitor any host metrics? Oh, I don't know. Just to say, yes, we'll just hit the default. I can, I'm just hitting enter here to choose the default. Do you want to monitor CPU metrics per core? Yes. Do you want to add EC2 dimensions into, I don't know, two? No. Uh, how would you like to collect your metrics at high resolution? Um, I don't know. Let's just do every 10 seconds. Which default metrics config do you want to have? Let's just do basic for now. And then it shows you the output of the, um, the configuration file. So it's pretty cool here. You can copy and paste this out somewhere, or it creates a config.json file in the background for you, which we're going to show you here in a minute. Are you satisfied with the above config? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Do you want to monitor any customized log files? Nope. Do you want to monitor any Windows event log? Sure. Windows event log name. I'll just choose a system for now. Sure. Verbose information. Sure. Warning error. Yep. Critical. All right. Log group name. Sure. Just make it system. It doesn't matter. I will choose XML. There's a lot of these questions that you can go through yourself and just configure this however you want. I'm just choosing a very, very basic just to get the, the basics done. Do you want to specify any other one? No. All right. Do you want to store the config in the SSM parameter store? Since we're just getting started, I'm just going to store the config locally um, here on my EC2 instance, but you can put it in the SSM parameter store. So I'm going to say no. Percenter to exit. All right. We are done with the configuration file. So we have created one. So now when I look, you can see that I have a config.json file in here. That's the JSON file that it created to perform the configuration. All right, next up, we have to start the CloudWatch agent. And again, to start it is a PowerShell script. And for this, we are just saying to, this is just the initial one to set up the, the link between the CloudWatch agent and the CloudWatch service here. And you can see that I'm providing a file of to the path to that config.json file that we had just created. So I would go ahead and do this. And then it'll show you some output uh, validating the config.json file, the schema, it looks good and everything looks fine. And when it works, it says validation succeeded. And now everything should be working, but let's find out for sure. All right, now we want to just ensure that it's actually sending anything to CloudWatch. So to do that, I go over back over here to my browser. I will go to CloudWatch. I just went to get here. I just went to services and then just chose CloudWatch. All right, and this is the CloudWatch console. Just to get a quick overview, if it is sending anything, I can go over here to logs is where I will see the event logs. So notice now that I have a log group, which I, I said the log group was system in that configuration wizard. Choose this, there's my log stream, and then here's all the logs that I configured it to collect. So you'll see that I have my, all the logs here. So it is sending the logs. I can also check metrics as well because I chose uh, metrics whenever I set it up. Whenever you do that, it's going to come up as a custom namespace here, CloudWatch agent namespace. So I can click on this, click here. The configuration that I provided, um, it's going to have the uh, page file sys here. Um, it's going to have a, a few other ones. So memory, it's going to provide all the metrics you configured whenever you were going through that configuration wizard. But this will be completely, completely different based on the option that you choose there. So now that we have got the CloudWatch agent downloaded, installed the configuration file built, and we verified that the CloudWatch agent is talking to the CloudWatch service, we're done. And I thank you for watching this snip.